Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Colossians chapter 4. Masters, be right and fair in the way you treat your slaves. Remember that you too have a master in heaven. Instructions. Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray with thanks to God. At the same time, pray for us that God will give us a good opportunity to preach his message to tell the secret of Christ. For that is why I am now in prison. Pray then that I may speak in such a way to make it clear as I should. Be wise in the way you act toward those who are not believers, making good use of every opportunity you have. Your speech should go always be pleasant and interesting, and you should know how to give the right answers to every person. Final greetings. Our dear brother, Tychius, who is faithful worker and fellow servant in the Lord's work, will give you all the news about me. That is why I'm sending you to cheer you up by telling you all of us are getting along. With him goes Onesium, the dear and faithful brother who belongs to your group. They will tell you everything that is happening here. Aristocatus, who is in prison with me, sends you greetings, and so does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas. You have already received the instructions about him to welcome him if he comes your way. Joshua called Justus also sends greetings. The three are the only Jewish converts who work with me for the kingdom of God, and they have been a great help to me. Greetings from Mephoris, another member of your group and a servant of Christ Jesus. He also prays fervently for you, asking God to make you stand firm, mature and full fully convinced in complete obedience to his will. I can personally testify to his hard work for you and for the people of Laodicea and Herpolis. Luke, our dear doctor, and Demas send you greetings. Give our best wishes to the brothers in Laodicea and to Nympha and the church that meets in her house. After you read the letter, make sure that it is read in the church of Laodicea. At the same time, you are to read the let- letter Lodicia will send you, and tell Arpegius, be sure to finish the task you were given in the Lord's service. With my own hands, I write this. Greetings from Paul. Do not forget my chains. May God's grace be with you. So this chapter um, is talking about a letter that Paul sent to uh, the church that they're addressing. Um, and it's giving instructions to pray for them and to be ready for the messengers that are to come. Um, so during this time, uh, Paul is in chains and messaging people so that they know that everything's okay, but he will be with them at some point in the future. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will start on chapter 3 next.